we got Corday featuring Lil Wayne, Sinister. Let's see what these niggas talking about, y'all. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. What up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Ronnie B, a.k.a. DJ Ron One, and we back with another one. Hopefully you and your loved ones are good, practicing your social distancing. When you out here in public and indoors, please put on those masks. To my rundown crew, what's cracking? Hopefully everything is good with you guys, from your money to your families, and most importantly, man, your health. Please take care of yourselves and one another. If you are new here, Thank you for coming to Fuck With Your Boy channel. Please join the Rundown crew by hitting the subscribe button down below. Come on me on my journey of being one of the sickest YouTube niggas out here. Also, please say your friends, cousins, front neighbors, ice cream man, weed man, whatever about your boy channel, please. I would greatly appreciate that. Today, though, today, we got Corday, one of the most underrated young niggas in the game right now. The nigga's lyrical. He got substance. And he fuck with the tennis player girl, the eight, whatever, Naomi, whatever fuck her name is. That's that nigga girl. But this song, Sinister, is featuring Lil Wayne. As y'all know, Lil Wayne, probably one of the greatest rappers of all time. Arguably the best rapper, well, arguably the best rapper of all time. He one of the niggas that got one of the hugest influences on what's going on today. He was the first nigga with face tats. He was the first nigga sipping lean. You know what I mean? A lot of these little young niggas out here. Got they swag and got they shit from Wayne. So we're about to get into this reaction, see what these niggas talking about, and break it down like we do, y'all. You already know. Let's get it. Yeah, all right, my flow sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Off the top, we let you know right now. You know what I'm saying? This is literature not rap you know what i mean this nigga really trying to kick some shit kick some substance behind it i think this is the the pivot point in his career where he's trying to let niggas know like i'm just not no little kid no more i'm finna drop some bombs i'm finna drop some knowledge and on top of you know what i'm saying nigga respect me for my lyrical ability you know what i'm saying so pay attention we finna we finna we finna see what this nigga's talking about man back to it Small minded nigga, all your ideas miniature. They tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you. I ain't going nowhere, 20 year career minimum. Call hit boy for beats, ask for 10 of them. Hear what he said? Hear what he said right there. They talk shit when they can't get rid of you. You know what I'm saying? When you a nigga pushing that line, you know what I'm saying? Kicking up dust and people are actually start listening to what you're saying and you sketch a vibe. Niggas can't get rid of you, and then what do they do to get rid of you to try to discredit your abilities or discredit who you are as a person? They start making up shit, start talking all this fucking funny shit, and start lying on niggas and all other types of shit. On top of that, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Hit Boy. You know what I'm saying? That nigga from Fontana. That nigga right there, man. That, that nigga's come a long way, man. Um, that nigga done dish all types of shit for people. Dom Kennedy, he typed with that nigga. He did some shit with Nip. He doing this shit. This is his beat right here. Hit boy. One of the sickest producers out there, man. You know what I'm saying? All that nigga shit. Go support that nigga shit. And Corday shit. You know what I'm saying? I think it's called From a Bird Eyes View is the name of this album that this shit is on, man. I think it just dropped like a week ago or something like that, man. Go cop that. Back to it. I don't follow trends, my nigga, I swing the pendulum If the bitch bag addiction, I'm gon' give her some Let's reflect times, I try to collect minds from complex rhymes And by the way, shut out Tech 9 That was dope, wasn't it? <laughs> that was dope right there And shout out to Tech 9, you know what I'm saying? Nigga representing Kansas City, Missouri one of them, Another one of the most underrated niggas in the game um, Tech 9, he, he cool, he a little weird For my taste, at least, but that, you know what I mean? That nigga got a hell of a following. People fuck with that nigga tough. You know what I'm saying? And I'm assuming Tech 9 is one of the niggas that inspire him or help him write it or has some sort of influence on this song, I would assume. so. Because you don't shout out just a random nigga like that unless he has something to do with the song or that's somebody who inspires you to do what you do or whatever the case may be. So I think that's why you shout out Tech 9. What do y'all think? Leave it in the comments section below. Anyway, back to it. Uh. Go and shut the fuck up, just let me talk, nigga. I'm a time bomb that's waiting to go off, nigga. Quite nuclear, amazing what fame could do to you. Too peculiar, although I'm truly a renaissance starter. My mind. <laughs> you already said renaissance starter, you know what I'm saying? That nigga's about to go off. 
I think this is this is this is gonna be the album that motherfuckers really respect Corday and understand this nigga's a star. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all follow that nigga on IG, but if you don't go on over there and do that, this nigga be in the it fucking this nigga be in the studio with Yeezy. This nigga be in the studio with Dre. Hit boy, obviously, who made this song. So he fucking with some heavy hitters, man. And and I, I, I believe in the nigga. I think the nigga finna finna do some things, you know what I'm saying? But back to it. Undivine, this should take me a lot farther Growing up, should I really have beef with my father? But why bother explaining my feelings? Mm. Try harder, but either way, they gon' paint you the villain yeah. hey. The nigga had beef with his father How many of us can relate to that? Beefing with your daddy for whatever fucking reason The nigga not being there The nigga not supporting you The nigga clean cut well, I'm sorry Clean cut and dry Leave you and your Leave you with your mama to raise you You know, can't no woman Raise a man, the boy, to be a man. You know what I'm saying? They don't know nothing about that. But whatever that is, nigga, he's letting you know in this shit how he persevered over the bullshit that's happened. You know what I mean? It's tough growing out without a dad. You know what I'm saying? And no male guidance to teach you how to be a man and the way that man handled things. What do y'all think? I'm just saying. <laughs> Back to it. Months with no phone, dog. We aiming for brilliance. High level maintaining the building, nigga. We making a killing. Ooh. All right, my flow sinister. This ain't rap. You know what? I love the Black Panther reference in this video. And they can stand up there like the Black Panthers did back in the day in Oakland, how they did all that shit for the community, for black people, found the loophole in the motherfucking laws or whatever the fuck you call that shit to where niggas can bear arms and protect themselves with shotguns. I love the reference that he put in this video. That was fucking dope. Shout out to the Black Panthers and everything they doing for the movement. Anyway. Back to it. Music, this straight literature. Small minded nigga, all your ideas miniature. They tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you. A wise man told me that silence never betrayed him. Keep your mouth shut, cause niggas got ultimatums. Yeah. Here he come. Here he come. One thing about Lil Wayne that I love is the nigga can rap. He can rap in metaphors and put shit together. And take two completely different elements and put them together and make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't respect Wheezy like that. But my little brother is a Wheezy fanatic. Shout out to your baby, bro. I love you. Take care of yourself and you know, my niece and nephew out there in Pittsburgh. I love you, nigga. But anyway, this nigga used to listen to Wayne for hours. And I, I never got it. I'm like, nigga, why is you so sprung on this nigga? Like, I really didn't give Wheezy the chance. But when I did, though. I apologized to my brother and told him that the nigga Lil Wayne was sick. I mean, enough about me. Back to it. <laughs> Back to it. Stupid situations, the tongue often creates them. The motor mouth nigga is usually causing mayhem. Lil Toon, flow sinister. I'm a finisher. Many men gonna need minister. Lil Toon. You know what I'm saying? That's another AKA of Lil Wayne's. They, you know, I nigga go by Lil Tucci. You know what I'm saying? Wayne out of New Orleans. Man, New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans. My people's from Louisiana, Arcadia, to be exact. That's northern Louisiana, over there in the fucking country. Like, nigga, I was out there for a week. I was like, nigga, get me out of here. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm a city boy. I'm not a country nigga. But anyway, Wayne, no, Wayne, 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 Wayne. Wheezy F, baby, Tucci, Wayne, Wheezy, all these fucking names this nigga got. The nigga, let you know. Look at this nigga, man. Got the grip. How many niggas look like this today? And how many motherfuckers you seen before Wayne look like this with the tats all on the face, grill, ugly ass nigga. <laughs> but way hard to the motherfucker though, man. Back to it. I made men in them enemies. I'm the enema. I'm a shit on them just like my keys drop my genitals on a dental work. My thoughts I keep confidential. It's consequential. Philosophies on that. See what I'm saying, nigga? I can't even pronounce what the nigga said. He said it's so motherfucking dope. You know what I'm saying? Internal, Wheezy, Wayne. You know what I'm saying? That, I'm telling you, man, nigga, Wayne. Wayne hard to the motherfucker, man. Like I said, arguably one of the best, one of the best to ever do it. Depending on who you ask. <laughs> Back to it. Identical. I'm not in it, yeah. My Siamese brother Benjamin. That's how I stick to him. These diamond bees, all BBs. I call them Vivica. Skating underneath a bridge. Stay hustling as it is. Make money, feed the kids. Make money, feed the kids. At the end of the day, who do we do it for? We do it for our kids. And 
for those who have kids, I'm saying. But, you know what I mean? You always, over the years we've learned, like, it's about your generation. It's about who comes after you. It's about laying the payment for those to come after you to make it easier for them. And that's why we go to, well, we not can't speak for y'all, but that's why I go to work. That's why I deal with these assholes that I deal with in these situations and shit that piss me off because I want to make sure that my kids have everything that they need and, and help them progress in life. You know what I'm saying? The black family is under attack right now. So us as fathers, we got to step it up a little bit. You know what I mean? I know some amazing fathers. I know some niggas that's been there. But I also know some niggas who have not, who has not, who have not been there, nor did they part. I'm just saying. We're not going to argue with the negative shit. We all positive over here on this channel. You dig? Back to it. There ain't nothing in the fridge. Wake up, repeat the sins. Eight blunts, I need a ten. Stay muddy to the lid. Eight hundred, eat a dick. Yeah, all right, my flow sinister. Yeah. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Well, See, there go the Black Preface reference. The Black Panther reference again. I'm getting all excited and shit, because I, I, I think Corday is hard, nigga. I fuck with this nigga tough. Fuck my goddamn headphones up. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? He hard as fuck, man. Doing his shit. And the name of the... I, I think the nigga name of the album is A Bird's Eye View. It's a double CD. I think he got like 15, 16 songs on it. And go cop that nigga old shit, too, to, to see how he got to this point and seeing how much that nigga's improved from the last time he dropped the album. I'm just saying, no, y'all. Back to it. Small minded nigga, all your ideas miniature. Yeah. They tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you. I ain't going nowhere. Twenty year career minimum. Call hit boy for beats, ask for ten of. I don't swing bars, my nigga. I swing the pill in them. This is a dope ass song. You know what I mean? Whoever put this together and and did they shit, they did they shit on this one. Real shock. You know what I mean? The references. Wayne, what he got on, what he got on with the black leather coat, the Black Panther reference, he spit knowledge. This is a dope ass song. It's a dope ass song, you know what I'm saying? Anybody else who think that this shit is whack, nigga, kiss my ass. This shit bang, you know what I'm saying? Back to it. I don't follow trends, my nigga, I swing the pendulum. If the bitch bag a dick shit, I'm gonna give her some. Yeah, all right, my flow sinister. Ugh, look. See that nigga had on the blue and gray 13s, them French ones? Nigga, let me tell y'all a story real quick. Just just real quick. I remember when those came out, I had them. And my dumb ass went to basketball practice and nigga came back to my locker and the motherfuckers was gone. To this day, that shit still hurts my feelings and pisses me the fuck off whoever hit me in the head for my goddamn J's. Just a little dumb shit that I didn't done in my past. <laughs> back to it, y'all. Yeah, all right, my flow sinister. <laughs> yeah, rhymes, you can go ask Jennifer. That's my mom's name. Never lied in my rhymes, you can go ask Jennifer. That's my mom's name. You feel me? Nigga, I ain't never capped. I ain't never did no bullshit. Go ask my mama. <laughs> if anybody knows anything about you, know your history, know the fucking tendencies, and know the whole shit, if there's some whole shit in you that you do, it's a nigga mama. I love my mama to death. My mama's my best fucking friend. You feel me? <laughs> I'm just saying. If you love your mama the way that I do, you done told your mama some dark shit. I'm just saying, y'all. <laughs> Back to it. I create and find change. My mind frame ensures that forever I reign. What the fuck? I mean... I'm at a loss for words right now. You feel me? Nigga gave it up for the Black Panther shit at the end. I love it. Nigga, keep doing your shit, Corday. Nigga, I support you. And there's others that support you. Nigga, keep doing your shit. Stay tapped in. Put on for your people and show love. You feel me? Back to it. Corday featuring Lil Wayne. Sinister. Dope ass song. That's the album. I mean, that's the album. That's the single off his new album from a bird's eye view. Go cop that. Get that nigga. Run that nigga numbers up. Get on YouTube and get that nigga numbers up. I think he had like four, four million views right now. Let's get that nigga cracking, man. But that's it for me. 
Thank you guys for everything that you do. Thank you for all the support. Please, please, please continue to support your boy. Please share the channel with somebody else. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and the notification bell so you are not left out when I drop my videos. You already know, until the next one, blessings to you and yours. Go Niners. Yeah. Yeah. Uh.